Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, another beautiful product review brought to you by OrbsHeadphones.com, the only place to get the best headphones in the market. And today's review is all about the JVC HAMR55X headphones, code name Extreme Explosive. Now, these headphones aren't just about lux, with the dual 50 millimeter neodymium magnets power the unit inside and give an additional bass boost thanks to JVC's trademark ring port sculpture inside the ear cups that you can feel just underneath the thin mesh covering each speaker. The small rubber ring is part of a large unit that controls the sound pressure to add bass and prevent outside noise from entering. However, I recommend keeping the volume low on your music player while using the HAMR55X headphones in an enclosed space like a subway train or a bus, as they leak plenty of sound to the outside world that can disturb involuntary listeners nearby. One downside to the bass heavy headphones is that the rest of the instruments in a song tend to get drowned out if you're not listening to the genres like hip hop and techno that favor artificial instruments. Additionally, the rock tracks I played through the JVCs appear to blend the mid and high sections into a muddy bump. So let's take a closer look at the extreme headphones. So the JVC MR55X headphones are overbuilt to withstand the abuse that mobile devices naturally experience. The headband and the outer ear cups and even the 3.5 millimeter plug are all reinforced with tough plastic and rubber for extra impact protection. Still, I believe that JVC keeps the weight down to a little more than a half a pound, the same as the Monster Beats by Dr. Dre Studio. So guys, what makes this the good headphone to purchase? Now, it has a unique ring port in the ear pad that actually gives the JVC HAMR55X a full-size headphones a deep bass kick for much lower price than competing models in the market. Now the bad about these guys, now the headphones leak sound even as low volume, exposing your music's taste to the world around you. That's one of the bad things about it. Now the what's the bottom line? Now bottom line for these particular headphones is you still get the kick out of the JVC HA MR55X headphones if you like the music that emphasizes thundering bass and their sturdy construction and accurate noise cancellation come at an affordable price. Now these particular headphones do come about $49.99, 50 bucks. But if you guys are looking for a cheap, massive base headphones, I would recommend these because they kind of compare with the Monster Beats that are out already in the market. Now Monster Beats compared to these is huge. It's about a $200 difference. Uh, I would definitely get these. When I first started testing these bad boys out, I was like, wow, I actually found a cheaper version of my ATH M50X Audio Technica headphones that I love so much that I'm always talking about. Uh, but again, the price is, I love the price. It's built like crazy. One of the bad things about it is that it's huge. It's so big. Uh, it does have an inline controller, as you can see. I always love inline controllers. Uh, it only goes, it doesn't control the volume to go up and down, so it, it only mutes it and that's it. Uh, you're able to stop, you're able to stop the music and uh, do what you need to do with only one button. This little guy right here would just control the volume to turn it off and off. Uh, I would like to have an inline controller that is able to control the volume to go up a little and down a little or up, up, up. So it's kind of crazy. Uh, other than that, guys, uh, I really love these guys. The price is great. I'm going to leave all the information at the bottom of the video uh, for OrbsHeadphones.com because that's where I got these bad boys for only 50 bucks. Really great. And I'll catch you guys on the next review. Peace out.